John Kerry believes in energy independence, so we are held hostage to the profits of oil companies or the sabotage of foreign oil fields. John Kerry believes in the constitutional freedoms that have made our country the envy of the world. And he will never sacrifice our basic liberties, nor use faith as a wedge to divide us. And John Kerry believes that in a dangerous world, war must be an option sometimes, but it should never be the first option. You know, a while back, a while back, I met a young man named Shields in a BFW hall in this morning, Illinois. He was a good looking kid, 6'2", 6'3", clear eye, with an easy smile. He told me he joined the Marines and was heading to Iraq the following week. And as I listened to him explain why he's arrested, the absolute threat he had in the country and its leaders, his devotion to duty and service, I thought this young man was older than any of us might have hoped for your child. But then, I asked myself, are we serving Seamus as well as he's serving us? I thought of the 900 men and women, sons and daughters, husbands and wives, friends and neighbors, who won't be returning to their own hometowns. I thought of the families I met was struggling to get by without a loved one's who income, or whose loved ones had returned with the limb missing. That was shattered, but still lacked long-term health benefits because they were resurfaced. When we send our young men and women into harm's way, we have a solemn obligation not to patch the numbers, or shade the truth about why they're going, to care for the families while they're gone, to tend to the soldiers upon their return, and to never, ever go to war without enough troops to win the war, secure the peace, and earn the respect of the world. Himself, but I call him Yamanouchi Kazutoyo. <laughs> yes, you know the story about Yamanouchi Kazutoyo. The wife bought a horse for Kazutoyo to be a great soldier. His wife sold the house and uh, said, Go to Ford. You need English for your future. <laughs> wow, so you are Yamanouchi Kazutoyo. <laughs> Anyways, unbelievable, unbelievable achievement, both in uh, musical and also this. <laughs> Presentation. So, would you like to say anything? Do you still have voice left? Thank you very much. Uh, I prepare. No, no, no. Uh, 
scream, my voice condition is <laughs> no good, like a sexy legs PlayStation <laughs> <laughs> uh, Usually, my voice is so good. <laughs> uh, but today, it's not. Uh, but more, more emotional. Sexy emotion. Uh, reach out to the audience. Mm, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, I'm very happy. I'm very glad. Uh, but uh, unbelievable still. Because many, many great, great champions. I'm only standing here, it's like a dream. I said, oh, champion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next time, my, I feel my pressure, but I continue to practice PlayStation and English, English, something study so hard. Uh, thank you very much. He himself said this, but uh, maybe today he was lucky. He lost his voice, so he had to really concentrate on the message. And it just came out from the inner voice. He didn't really depend on the volume, volume of his voice. So, yes. But something that we can all learn from him too. All right. But everybody did a wonderful job. So once again, let's give them a big round of applause.